love that you love most. So it's kind of fun again. So yeah. I know that you're close with Haskell. How much did he help you through that first year? Oh, he helped me a lot. Um, when I first came in, I, I stayed with him a little bit. Uh, I continue to stay with him, but uh, we've been with each other since we were little kids. We grew up right down the street from each other, so uh, it was nothing different. It's always family and always love. What do you think you can bring to this linebacker core this year? Um, definitely a lot of energy. I feel like we have a lot of energy now, but just to add more energy on top of that is definitely something that I feel like I could bring. Are you working in that Sam role a lot? Uh, I'm working all over. Uh, I don't, scheme wise, I don't really know where they're going to have me end up, but for the most part, I'm pretty much all over right now. Have you been working at the jack position at all? Uh, yeah, here and there. I've been kind of, like I said, just kind of all over, whether inside, outside, yeah. Do you feel like there's a certain position that fits your skill set best, or are you kind of able to do everything? Um, I think all of them. Uh, I think just being able to build versatility and being able to play all four spots would definitely help me, but more importantly, the team. And, and me being a team player, I, I'll play any role that they want me to play. Obviously, you didn't get to play a ton last year, so if you yes, play more this year, what are people going to notice most about you? Um, just, I would say instincts. Just being able to play recognition uh, a little bit faster. Um, that's something that I'm continuing to work on every day. But definitely that, and then um, I've also been, you know, trying to get my physical abilities up and get some athleticism and stuff. What What's it been like just learning from Coach Knowles? What are the biggest things he's learned, taught me so far? Uh, everything's detailed. Um, Rather than looking at the big picture type of things, it's very detailed and, and taking the grand scheme of things and like minimizing it to one little thing. So uh, definitely working with Coach Nose is definitely detailed. Everything is detailed, detailed, detailed. Is it hard? I mean, you're a guy who started your career. You're a five-star recruit all that. Is it hard like to be at this point in your career and still kind of be chasing that opportunity to play consistently? Oh, uh, no, I've always been chasing, you know, I've always been the underdog. I've always been the one down. I've always been working this hard for my whole life. So it's nothing new. Um, I definitely think like, you know, where my career started, it definitely hasn't ended in that same mentality that I had at the beginning is the same I have right now. So, appreciate you. Yeah, I'll just ask kind of the same thing. Just uh, yeah. last year, uh, seemed like it was kind of, uh, I don't know, a struggle at times to get consistent playing time. Just what in your mind was going on, I guess, last year? And, and how can you, I guess, take things to a different level this year, I suppose? Um, definitely, I definitely had a lot of setbacks last year. Uh, but that's no excuses. A lot uh, of health-wise? Yeah. yeah okay. um, but definitely this year is just trying to maintain my health and, and kind of just be healthy the whole year. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my biggest goal right now, just stay healthy. Where are you practicing primarily right now? Um, kind of all over. I'm kind of a mix between the uh, Will, Jack, and Sam. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, just your thought about why it was important for you to come back for another year of college football at Ohio State in general. Just what, what were your thoughts, I guess? Uh, coming back, I just thought, um, you know, last year I didn't have a real year. So I just felt like another year of film would be definitely a help. And uh, just coming back to the brotherhood, honestly, is the biggest ticket. The biggest thing that sold me on coming back was just coming back for one more year, getting time to spend or getting to spend time with the guys and getting to know them better. What are your strengths as a player? Uh, I definitely think I play fast, loose, uh, and can definitely uh, analyze some things a little bit faster. Um, but those are all things that I continue to work on every day. How do you, I'm talking to Taraja about the defense and, and how it varies for the linebackers. He said uh -huh. there's, there's just a lot of different things for you guys to do, but what is the, maybe the most basic job of a linebacker in this defense, do you think? Uh, honestly, just to play, just to plug where the water leaks, um, kind of just fitting off the D lineman and, and in the past, just trying to have that foosball spacement and just having good alignment, good spacing in the past game and, you know, just plugging where the water leaks. Is that something that, you know, that's kind of basic, but is that really something that was kind of holding you guys back in the past where there was just maybe not, everybody wasn't always on the same page? Uh, no, I definitely think we're on the same page. Uh, I definitely don't really know what was setting us back. I definitely think we all played as hard as we could. So I definitely don't think uh, as far as last year goes, like I definitely think there wasn't a problem. We just had fanatical effort, did everything we could the best we did. How do you like it in Columbus? Oh, I love it. The town's great. People are great. Um, the food is actually really good. Okay. I mean, being from Vegas, you got a lot, like a whole bunch of variety of food, but yeah. um, the food here is great. Uh, but I love the people most of all. They're very kind and friendly. Did you get used to the cold? 
No, nah, I'm still extra, not used to it. It was extra cold this winter. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I mean, this is my first time really experiencing uh, Four Seasons. Yeah. So I'm usually just a shirt, t-shirt, like a t-shirt, shorts guy. But now I had to layer up, so it's kind of weird. Do you have any tips weird. for West Coast people getting through the cold? Layers. layers. Yeah, I would say like at least two layers on is probably the best thing. Um, yeah, that's probably the best advice I give you to dress for the weather early. Thanks, man. Thank you. It's uh, who's that? Any foolish questions? They were all foolish. 